As a state's insurer risk advisor, part of our role is supporting public health service to improve patient safety. We have developed a partnership with Behavior Works Australia, looking at possible interventions that can address issues that lead to patient harm, such as misdiagnosis in emergency departments. This led us to develop an intervention called the Rapid Diagnosis Discussion, or RAD. The project focused on abdominal pain because it's one of the most frequent presentations to emergency departments and it's increasingly a problem in older ages as well. So it's quite a challenging thing to get right from a diagnostic point of view. Cognitive bias is the tendency to um, think in a particular direction um, based on either your prior experience or an initial suspicion. In emergency departments, which are very chaotic and you have to make diagnoses or provisional diagnoses quickly, there's a risk that you're gonna go down the wrong pathway. So what the research shows is that if you take um, some time out or chat to someone else uh, very briefly about your working diagnosis, uh, you can reduce your propensity to think in a particular direction and think of maybe alternative diagnoses. The, the trial uh, consisted of two parts. Uh, first, we tried to identify patients who arrived with abdominal pain and they would be seen in, independently by two different clinicians. Uh, that was the first part, so the patient would have two assessments. The second part involved those two clinicians having a structured conversation uh, that was specifically designed to address cognitive biases. After this conversation, they would unveil their two diagnoses to each other and they would jointly come up with a third diagnosis. Then became the working diagnosis for that patient. One of the most important findings was that we found that doctors' confidence in diagnosing abdominal pain was increased, particularly for high-risk cases and particularly for more junior doctors. In terms of um, what happened to the patient, we found that uh, patients were less likely to be sent home, uh, they were more likely to be admitted to short-stay units and more likely to have um, blood tests. We also found importantly that in about a quarter of cases the working diagnosis of the first doctor to see the patient was altered in some way as a result of the RAD intervention. What we've been able to do in this project is to be able to capture um, when that's happened and look at the effect of having someone else querying your bias on that process. I think clinicians felt a little nervous uh, that they um, were sharing their provisional diagnosis and thought process with another clinician, but at the same time they got an enormous amount of relief and confidence um, by having someone else also assess the patient and being able to have a structured conversation about what their thoughts were.